podcast total sport. Good evening Bahamas, I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Friday. The Mango Key Regatta is well on its way in Mango Key Andras. The first race got started around noon today. While the skippers ballot out on the water, regatta enthused are liking the onshore activities. In this report, our Charles Fisher, who is in Andras, tells us that the regatta site is going to be buzzing with activities. The captain Moxie came in early this morning and hundreds will be out mingling on the site. It's all about Mangrove Key this holiday weekend as folks were making their way there early Friday morning. The airport was busy but not as buzzing as the Captain Moxie, which came loaded with the sailing sloops and persons signaling its homecoming and regatta time is underway. We're now joined by Leonardo Lightborn. He's the chairman of the homecoming committee. It's not only about sailing here in Mangrove Key, but boy, Leonardo, you're telling me we have who's who in Bahamian entertainment over the next three nights. Yes, uh, beginning of the night being our opening night. Last night was our gospel night. We had uh, Tracy Tracy, a uh, very good inspirational gospel singer. Last night we also had uh, Rachel Markey, who is a well-known gospel singer. Uh, tonight's our opening night for Light Entertainment. Uh, on the program tonight we have Mr. Dyson Knight. Uh, you're on Elon, he's supposed to be in attendance, but he'll be at a more hopeful circumstances. Uh, Saturday night we got, we go full force again. We got uh, Mr. Stelit himself. We got uh, Cupid in the building. We also got Mr. Elon Moxie, he'll be here. Uh, and the whole time during this, these nights of entertainment, we got the Defense Force Barn going and kicking it off. And also Sunday night, we got Mr. Gino D himself, along with Salit and Elon Moxie again. Uh, local bands, Foxy and the boys. Uh, we have a lot of entertainment going on. Our host band, uh, like I said, the Defense Force Band, also the DJ, uh, Bahamas DJ and Sounds, uh, Ruffles, DJ Sampler, live the whole weekend. So folks, if you're not intending to come down here, you just got a little spice to come on down to Mangrove Key this weekend. It's all about the Mangrove Key homecoming and regatta and Leonardo Boy things on shore. You're going to keep the people involved on onshore for some nature things. Uh, we have a lot of uh, foods and drinks. Let's not forget about our stores. We got a lot of down home stuff, some boiled chicken, fish sauce, fish. We got a lot of stew. We got some grill going on. We got the, the crock pork chops. We got we got it all down here. We Don't forget, we got our Kong style. We got the tropicals. We got the collect, the barefoot bandit specials. We got it all going on here. Come on down to Mangrove Mango of Key 2016 homecoming. This is the place to be this weekend. Sound like after this weekend, I'm weighing 180 pounds now. Maybe weighing 200. All that good food Leonardo just mentioned. In Mango of Key for ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Thank you so much, Fisher. The national sport of the Bahamas cricket is in full swing. The Bahamas Cricket Association is looking to revive the sport with hosting up a two-day tournament this holiday weekend. Play will be staged at Haynes Oval, where the Bahamas will go up against players from around the region. Sponsored by Nagico and it's going to be a big tournament, it's going to be entertainment, it's going to be fun, it's going to be cricket. It's going to be four teams. Bahamas is a two-time defending title champion holder. Um, we're going to be playing against Jamaica, we're going to be playing against Guy, um, a Guyanese team, and then we're also going to be playing a team named the rest of the world, comprised of Indians and other international players. Yes, it's going to be very exciting. Again, we have some giveaways, we have some hats, we have some cell phone charges, we have some USB drives. Nagico has cricket in their DNA and that's all they want to do, play cricket in the Bahamas. National record holder in the men's triple jump event and Olympian Lee Van Superman Sands will be inducted into the Sports Coast Hall of Fame for his achievements in the sport of track and field tonight. The decorated athlete Sands has popped back on the scene after what many would have thought would have been a career-ending injury suffered at the 2012 Olympic Games. Sands said he is happy to be back and blessed to know that many view him as a role model. It is definitely an honor to be selected amongst uh, so many great people. Um, it feels great to be a part of it. Um, it just shows me that, you know, you know, that all the hard work that I've done over the years is actually paying off. Now, even though I'm still young, um, I'm being selected in, in the Hall of Fame. I'm just happy and proud, you know, proud to represent so many people, proud to represent um, you know, my old school, Florida Academy, and Temple Christian, and you know, Auburn University, uh, it just makes me proud, you know. Um, you know, it just feels, it feels great, you know, I'm, I'm excited, um, I can't wait to see the award. 
a record-breaking number of athletes are expected to compete in what is now being dubbed as the biggest track and field meet for young athletes in the country. The Frank Pancho Ramming National Track and Field Championships will take place next week. These young athletes will compete at the refurbished Thomas A. Robinson Stadium for the National Crown. Today is another proud day for the team here at the National Sports Authority. We are proud, not because we have the opportunity to host another major event at one of our facilities, but most importantly, because we are investing in the development of the youth of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Our young Bahamians deserve every opportunity to hone their skills through the guidance of the coaches, teachers, and parents, and to be given every opportunity to succeed. We here at the NSA are extremely grateful to host this event. We are fine-tuning our preparations at the original Thomas A. Robinson Stadium, upgrading several key areas to provide a quality facility and create an environment conducive to productivity and success. Jimmy Norris will hit the stage this weekend in search of another international title in bodybuilding. Norris, who is of short structure but has a well-chiseled physique, said he's ready to flex his way to the crown. The diet part isn't, wasn't as tough as it was um, uh, at the last show, but um, it's the preparation is going good. Um, you know, in bodybuilding, you have to put on um, a one-minute posing routine. So my posing selection is very good. I'm posing to the late great Prince, uh, one of his songs, and um, I think the crowd is gonna like me for that. And I'm gonna, you know, kind of give them a little bit of our Bahamian moves, the Bahamian dance. They always like um, my um, stage presence. They were called the new kids on the block last year by the other female teams in New Providence Softball Association. However, it was this new team made up of some familiar faces that won the title. The squad not only played for bragging rights, but rings, which they were presented to last night. Considering last year, we, we came out as a new team. We were struggling. They beat our pants off, and we came from the bottom, and we rose to the top. It's, it's just awesome right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to enjoy the girls one more. Because you know this is actually their first championship, their first time was in the league was last year. I got a few with the, with the truckers, you know, we've been winning for years, so I'm going to enjoy the girls one tonight. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson. This is ZNS Total Sports.